Davian no more in the cut. Mr. Omar in the cut. God! God! We back with another banger. Oh, shit. Man, I'm over here breaking shit already, my guy. But we back with another banger. Nigga, we got some wing style, nigga. Yeah, you know, I'm more back with another banger, man. I just want to give y'all an update. My new clean meal right here. You know what I'm saying? We got the cage. Not the Cajun, y'all. I'm about to show y'all everything up close. Let me, let me take everything out. Boom, okay. We got everything. I'm about to show y'all everything right now. All right, let me show y'all everything. All right, so we got the Honey Hot Rub French fries, my nigga. Mm. What we got right here? Which one's these? Mm. I don't even know, dude. Y'all got to taste them. Y'all oh, see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Let's go. My new wing stop order. It's been like two months since I ate wing stop. Come here and get a few bites. You can get a little wear off. So my player. Amen. Bro. These fries here. These might be my new go-to fries. They think I might like these better than voodoo fries. These fries are here. Get to these wings. Y'all know, we all know these are the originals. Time to eat that shit. These are the hot honey rub. One is hot honey rub, one is Louisiana rub. Then we got the plan. Only reason why I got plan. Just because I was supposed to eat with they ranch. They ain't give me none. Tough! But y'all, we in luck. It's supposed to be, I think it's midnight right now. We in luck. Shout out to the Uber driver. Came in clutch because I'm telling you why. Even though them niggas was closed, he still went to God. He still got my order for me. Yeah, a little bit jarred, bro. That nigga a dub, but look, listen. I know I'm doing way more eating this mud band. I'm hungry as shit, and I ain't had fast food in a while. It tastes so weird, bro. Till then, I'll sit my trunk ass on that runway on this one way. 
Thank you to all the real ones that gave me a shuggy. Just to chow down for a second. Stuff my face. Oh, I might have got water real quick. I really appreciate y'all niggas. I just want to throw in a quick mud bang into the rotation. Mood bang, mud bang, buck bang, whatever the fuck y'all call it. <clears throat> just let y'all know. I really appreciate all the support and love. Um, uh, support we get, love we get is crazy. I ain't doing nothing but come on the camera being me, getting off the camera, watching TV. <laughs> I literally got one piece. It's not planned, but I got one piece on the screen as we speak. Y'all gotta understand, man. This means everything to me. I have no other option. I don't have nothing else. All I have is me. And all I can give you is me. I can't give you anybody else if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to come in here and talk about the same shit all the time. So that's why I come in here and talk about my shit. Not only to better myself, but to better you. Yeah. Whatever position you in. Whatever level of life you're in, it's not your final step. It's up to you to determine it. That's your final move. You know what I'm saying? You playing too much pawns, bro. You ought to throw out some of them big, them big players, bro. The bishops, the horsemen, all that. You're going to have to start throwing up some big players, bro. You've been throwing pawns your whole life, my nigga. Take a, take a leap, take a risk. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm asking you to do, bro. Don't sit here and watch a good dynasty grow. Right, you do nothing. Instead, adapt to a new a new skill I learned. That's called steel game. Steel game is basically nothing to do with physical stealing. It's all about you see somebody move a certain way, you steal it, you readjust it to your way how you like it, and you do the same thing. For instance, um, how I do food videos. Oh shit, but I really love that nigga Damien food videos, but. I'm not really the food type. I'm more like the video game type. So let me in and out every video game until so I can see what they like and then let me do more of what they like. That's for instance, somebody just stole my game, but they did it in a way that makes them more fit, more fitable, more suitable for them. You know what I'm saying? So that's still in the game. Feel me? Your whole life, my whole life. People gonna tell you you can do whatever you want. But what people will never tell you is how to do it. That's the journey, bro. You be like, bro, just tell me how to do it, right? I, I was the same way. I was the same little nigga, older nigga. I'm like, just tell me how to do it. The fact is they can't. Not even successful people. Nobody can tell you how you, how do you go through your journey because nobody knows your journey but you. So, bro, you just got to face that shit, man. Really? Nobody want to hear it. Nobody want to hear this shit. I know. I know. Nobody want to hear the truth, but everybody want to hear a gang of lies all day. God! Oh, it's okay to do this. You're fine. It's okay. We all live. You're going to hear that your whole life. Nobody is going to put... Nobody's going to tell you what you really need to tell you. And then when somebody really do tell them, tell you that, you're going to really appreciate it. Like, hey, I appreciate it. It could be a stranger. It could be somebody close to you. Like, oh, I really appreciate that shit. You're going to appreciate the small things. You're going to appreciate everybody keeping it real instead of being fake Instead of being fake to you for once. You're going to appreciate that one motherfucker that keep it real. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. <clears throat> Say this, like, uh, is it a week and a half ago back? This uh, police officer in training was taking me home, right? Um, Uber and shit from work. He's like, "Yeah, man, I want to. Uh, I'm in. I'm in training right now. Be a police officer." I told him the real. I said, "Becoming a police officer is like joining a gang." I ain't gonna speak on strict details me and him spoke about because that's between me and that person. But let me tell y'all the overall, the moral story. Be joining a police officer. Offer, being becoming a police officer is joining the game. Why? First of all, the laws. You know what I'm saying? And what do gangs do? Gangs got their laws. 
You can't come on their block and smoke. You can't do this and that. Ain't got to be a block, but you just can't come around their area, kick in and get their money. You can't steal their smokers. You, it's all whole. It's a whole bunch of things that we could go into, right? But they got gangs. You know what I'm saying? What they do? They extort gangs. They extort real gangs. They extort cults. They extort mafias. They extort all that shit. Police is the biggest gang. Whatever city you at, it's a police gang. What's the police gang, Omar? It's the state police. They're a gang, bro. They're no better than Crips and Bloods, whatever you want to call it. Essays. It's no better than none of that shit. That's the that's the horror story I was telling him. And it goes deeper than that. You know, family and all that. Make sure your family is cool. Make sure they protected. People try to come after you after your family. I went, we we had a deep talk. Basically, what I'm saying is, bro, whatever you're gonna do, be aware of what you're doing and know what path you're going down. You might have to, you might want to go down a path. I'm not saying you, you like I'm recommending to you, but you as in you as a human being might choose a path where you're gonna be alone for a very um, long period in your in your your career, your career, your life. You might choose a path where you're going to be lonely. You might choose a path where it gets really dark. But you always kept that little that little light in the room, right? I'm telling you, bro. Shit going to get harder, bro. You think where you at right now, the little buzz you getting, the little money you getting, it's a lot. My nigga, when you, when you come on top of your game and you still striving to get more, you going to look around like, damn. I'm shitting on me from last year. Oh, I'm shitting on me from six months ago. You gonna really appreciate yourself more, my nigga. Bigger you get, the more humble you get. You don't have to tell anybody anything you did. Nigga, they could go look up on my, they could look up my YouTube. How much subs I got. How much views I be pulling in. That don't mean shit to me. But that's what everybody else care about. You let people determine how great you is. Nigga, you just put the work in. Fuck it. So oh, that's my nigga right there. No, it was good. Nigga, in my head, I know what I'm focused on. I'm focused on this next move. If people is focused on you, nigga, you the new thing to watch. You the, you the motherfucker out here making these genius plans and people wonder how he doing it. It's it's the, that motherfucker locked in. He locked that nigga. He he shooting that bitch. He shooting that targets with perfect aim. He locked in. Everybody over here praising him. You hear all the fans in the back. Oh, oh my God. Drop another one of those. My nigga is locked in, bro. And yes, I am speaking about me. This is, and this is, I'm referencing to myself, bro. I'm not scared to say I'm referencing to myself, man. I'm locked in, bro. I just hope, and I hope y'all don't mind. Just please let me. Like, just please keep supporting and keep showing love, man. I'm locked in. Every second, every ounce, nigga, I'm dedicating to all this shit. Either I'm recording, editing, whatever, making thumbnails on the low. I'm at work, nigga, hiding in the bathroom, making thumbnails. I see one of them vids. I was hiding in the bathroom, nigga, making thumbnails, editing. Whatever I'm doing, nigga, just, just give me time. Give me a sec. I promise all you will get is the best, my nigga. I just really want to come on here and appreciate y'all niggas. It's going to be called a Wingstop Mukbang, bro. But all the real ones are going to click on it because they fuck with me. They're going to fuck with me for me. You know what I'm saying? I just really appreciate all the love I've been getting. You know, the family getting. You know what I'm saying? They all been in the vent. They all, they all in this shit with me. They helped me just as much as I helped myself. So, we appreciate all the love. I'm going to speak for all of us. We appreciate all the love we've been getting, bro. And this shit means everything to me, bro. I, I, won't, I won't regret it. How I do. I don't regret anything how I did anything. I don't know if that makes sense, but nigga, I'm tired of shit. I don't regret how I did anything or how how I referenced it, how I did each and every video. Because every time that camera goes, ding, that recording noise, from it go, uh-uh. You know, the end noise, I'm 100% being me. Camera's off, camera's on. I just really appreciate it, man. It's just... I don't know why. The reason why y'all always hear me referencing I'm just being me, because I don't know why people come on camera with a whole character and fake everything they got going on. They smiling when they're not happy. 
They uh they doing things they don't want to do. They kicking it with little YouTubers that they don't want to kick it with because they just they they getting extra views. They getting an extra couple thousand views. It's just it's not me, man. It's not in my heart. I won't do anything for no clout. I do any I do what I want to do that I feel like that would be cool as fuck and that I feel like y'all will fuck with. But I'm not doing no clout chasing moves. I don't need no big YouTubers. I don't need no fa no fancy streamers. I don't need no 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 script. I don't need no any of that shit, nigga. All I need is me, Davy and no more, bro. And whatever the video is about. Arts and crafts, nigga. You know? Whatever. That's all I need, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's a good enough appreciation, man. Um, is it a mud bang? At the beginning of the video, it was. I was going absolutely insane. You know what I'm saying? You could go ahead and re reverse that back. You know what I'm saying? I was going crazy, boy. You know what I'm saying? Nobody in front. I had fruit all day. I wasn't even hungry, bro. Honestly. I thought they wasn't even going to break it. Because they've been waiting for so long. Wait, this shit at five. My food code and shit. Tough! <laughs> I'm done fucking with y'all, man. We're gonna roll to four. We're gonna roll to a thousand. Oh, man.